Today's mystery issue is Ward and Western Australia. Ward. That's 400 pages. Last season they had like Akiba or Yanner and Eaton, which are like 20. This is some bullshit. At the end of this exam, those of you who do not perform will be going home. Everyone else will presumably also be allowed to leave. It's an old family recipe. Lovely. What's it called? Uh, Iraq. I'm looking for one thing. Tasty answers. Subtle uses of judges' names. Juicy analysis. I want your answers to penetrate my very being. To inspire you all today, I'm wearing the same cravat I was wearing that day I first got an email from Nick Carr. Today's test is make or break for me. I failed the mid-sem and I only went to three toots, so if I don't perform today, then elimination is looking likely. All going to plan here, Jane? Sure. Feeling focused? Yeah. Not gonna crack down. John, the... it is literally impossible to focus when you're talking in my ear. Can you fuck off, please? I've got five minutes and I spotted all the issues and it's coming together. And then I dropped my pen. The pen flew two meters through the air and hit the ground. Lisa goes to pick it up and threw it away. Talker Space is going to have a field day. In case I wasn't very clear before, most of you will be going home. Boom, boom, sue the room. I am wearing my speed cravat. It is red. Three fifths of a second to go. Heads down. That is time. Your handwriting is disgusting. Disgustingly good. Oh, thank you so much. We saw some great answers today, but sadly, someone must go home. The person leaving the master test exam room is Steph. <laughs> master test has been the most stressful experience of my life. I knew uni could be hard, but I just, I didn't think it could be this hard. I'm starting to think this just isn't for me. I mean, maybe I'll take a gap year. Or just do arts. Students, there are 10 minutes to go. What better time to invite our special guest to the master test exam room, Heston Blumenthal. I'm now wearing my five minutes to go cravat. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not a cravat, that's it's a croissant. <laughs> oh my. Heston. Cause you're